You're a nosy person. I just know what these superstar new pros do. This might be a sick hand. You've seen enough cards. Yeah. You see a lot of things. Everyone's got a hustle. I can't knock it. That's true. Rampage is going to flub a set here, isn't he, Dave? That's what the superstars do when they're up against aces. I'm the guy. How do you call that? I just know what these superstar new pros do. They always flop a set against aces. There's always a bunch of draws available. These guys are deep, by the way. Professor's got 328,000 because his 10's held. Just called. I'm not in love with that. And now a scare card comes. What is going on here? This pot is... This is a baby. What is going on? So the professor's going to bet now. Rampage is going to check raise, and then the professor finds a fold, right? Maybe. I do like this check on the river. Yeah, the king is a, is a card that's going to favor professor's range. And even if he doesn't have the king, he might use it to try to rep and bluff with it. I just, I just think there's a no whoop rule. 30. Yeah. yeah, it's a really good check by Rampage. What if you prefer to check raise on the flop? I, I yeah, it's a pretty wet board. I'm surprised he didn't on a, on a, on a two heart board, 10, 7, 3. I mean, there's texture there. You know, you're gonna have you're gonna have some straight draws and, and combo draws that you're gonna want to check raise with. So, you gotta get the money in. I mean, obviously, if he knew what his opponent had, he was absolutely gonna check raise. But Professor getting two to one. Dave, when you're deep, you gotta target your opponent having something good. I don't even know if an RFID would help. Because if you don't, you squander a huge opportunity. Gets paid on the river. Nice river play. I mean, if you're a professor, you feel like you won. You've got to feel like, okay, I, 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 that could have been way worse. I love that he's doing it while wearing the patches, man. I don't, I don't know. Something about it. I just love it so much. That would have been a good spot for him to jam. You to call it off, run it once, and just spike one of your parents and, like, stop. Oh, we're calling. Okay. I know. You were calling? Rampage has kicker problems. Let's see if he can... I was gonna pull Navigate this and, expertly. Yeah, it's, 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 fucking it, it works. A lot of draws available. They check the Santosh in position. He's going to be incredibly wide here with this bet. Rampage is going to check raise top pair. Easy call for Santosh. Is this a new thing? Is this uh, the check raise top pair no kicker thing? So I've now seen we've seen Cabrel do it. And we've seen Rampage do it. Is this like a solver approved thing? I'm not sure, Dave. It's something they do. Check. check. Santos can check or bet. Now this got the game goes up by about four times. Interesting. So Damn, you got thirty-five thousand dollars in there. Now Rampage can actually get some value from some hands. Thirty-five large. Wow, he pots it. Like five six, just made a pair. So this is a value bet. It's five a, X of clubs just made a pair. Right, it's a value bet? You're trying to get called by like some sort of weird pair. Yeah. Like you're Seven, trying to sell you're eight. trying to tell the story that you miss clubs. Yeah. I wonder if Rampage has ever watched Santosh play. <laughs> this is what he's gonna do every time. That's no good, buddy. Kicker. 105k pot. Pair against pair. Cooler. Yeah, cooler. It's part of the problem, Rampage. If you got any Super Pro in there, San Francisco is going to get you. Top pair, no good. That's a cooler. It is a cooler, to be fair. You're right. Martin does it. Martin does a great job at it. He gambles a lot at the beginning, and then he tightens it up. He gives off the impression that he is action without actually being action. 100%. Do you play jungle? 200 or so. Sorry? 200 or so. It was 1K more to him, and he threw out a 25K chip. That irritated Andy a little bit. Top pair here for Martin Cabral. Mm. 
going to see a lot, a lot of checking here. No? Check is in the mail. I guess. I guess this makes sense. He's got the best hand. Right. I just, when I bet, I usually like to know the purpose. I don't know. The, what? <laughs> That's the purpose. Just got called by worse. <laughs> Yeah, but Rampage must have a plan here. <laughs> Don't overthink it. <laughs> now what, guys? I mean, if you think you're, if you're only ever betting an eight here, right? I mean, aren't you easy to play against? Well, you don't, you don't have to bet your eight, though. That's the thing. So if you check, it doesn't mean you don't have an eight. There were three opponents at the time. And now Rampage is going to tell a tough story, it appears. I mean, you're not flatting, you're not calling a turn without a plan, right? And he's going to go for it. And now the question is, this does is it wild. work? I mean, does oh, Rampage always have an eight or nothing here? I mean, I think so. I mean, he's never, like, he's never, I mean, obviously, Cabrell's King-10 is just a bluff catcher. We know that. But does Rampage's value betting here, is he, is he doing it with two pair? No. Okay. And Cabrell lets it go, and there's the plan. Bet turn with the best hand, get called by worse, get floated, and then let your opponent no, take it away. Enough. You've seen enough cards. You've seen a lot of things. You see a lot of things. You're a nosy person. Didn't like the bet on the turn. <laughs> I like it. A little nosy. Race from Andy. Rampage, three betting. These guys are going at it. These guys are going at it. Ace high flop. Both players flop a gut Eight. shot. Rampage has a queen of clubs as well. He is and he's the aggressor. He can put a little heat on Andy, and he's going to. Not going to put any heat on, it, on Andy anymore because Andy turns the nuts. Yeah, Rampage is running poorly, three-handed, at 501K. He's in for a million, so we know that he's down 152 plus whatever else he puts well, in the pot. There's 35,000 more down the drain. Andy, by the way, is in the game for like 1.2 million. It's one of those tough spots. You're so deep, you want to raise huge. Target I mean, two pair sets. The nice thing is when you have a straight, you don't block your opponent from having any of those pairs or two pair. Like, why not, right? Three bet pot. Rampage is going to have. I mean, he's got almost nothing here. He's got Dude. the 10s, but he's going to have, like, ace-x something here a lot of times. This is so strong. Raising here is so strong. I like it. Yeah, but Rampage has the stronger range, so this just makes this so strong. Yeah. Look at this. Andy raising to 100,000. He might get even. He might get even on his hands. Don't act too fast. I'm gonna. Oh, let's see. Actually, <sighs> what do you think? I think he's folding. Well, to your point, I mean, Rampage is the one with the big wow. hands. No, he makes the call. This You're pot the now two hundred and forty-four thousand dollars. You're the one with like top He's set. 20 stocks. He's planning on bluffing some cards here. He might be planning on bluffing a club, club right. He's or the board pairing. The club's got to be a bluff card, right? This might be a sick hand. It already is. Don't let us down, dealer. Oh, it's a does. The board does pair. The board pairs. So I'm just curious. Andy bets value here for Rampage check races. I don't think he's going to do it, but if he did, that would be so sick. He might. His name's Rampage. Pot is just under a quarter of a million dollars, everybody. Checks it back. Oh, wow. Let's see Rampage's look right here. Andy thought he was, wow. 
you're the three better. You called my, and then the board paired. No. I, I, what do I do if it's I bet and get check raised? It's a reasonable check back. Right, what do I do if I, if I bet here and get check raised, I'm going to hate like hey.